I'm going to show you guys how to beat the Jackal on Fossa. We're over at the Arsenal right now. Just want to show you guys. Main weapon I'm going to be using here is going to be the Scanner. Uh, the most important thing is to get a pressure point on here. Probably max that out because this is going to do most of the damage for us. Just make sure you have that before we go on into the mission. I like to pick Vault for my starting Warframe. Obviously, you guys may have a different one, but I like Vault. So we are going to make our way into the Fossa mission. Obviously, I'm going to do the solo. And also made it into the mission, we're obviously just going to follow the yellow mark until we meet the Jackal. And eventually, you'll come to a room that looks a lot like this. Note that if you're doing this in public, which I would generally recommend, there's no reason to do this solo. Um, you'll need everybody in here before you can actually interact with the panel here, which we're going to do now. It's going to bring the Jackal up. We'll go ahead and skip this. And we want to kind of get behind it. Probably don't get hit by the, uh, by the stomp like I did. We want to get behind it. And we're just going to chop at its legs. And we'll see in a second that it's just going to uh, fly up into the air rather quickly. Really shouldn't take long. As this is where the uh, mechanics of the boss fight come in, it's easier if you stay closer to it. When it goes red like this, the beams are going to do damage to you. Eventually it'll slam into the ground again. So we want to make sure you jump over that. And then just go to it, press X. That's going to take off its first... Earth. <laughs> its first set of health. <clears throat> so we're going to have a cutscene. We'll skip through this. Taking us into the second phase, where it's going to be mostly similar. We're going to want to get straight on in here. Keep an eye on its legs. We don't want to get slammed again. There we go, up into the air again. This time it's going to go in the same direction, but it's also going to turn on us as well. So we need to just be reactive for that. There we go, so when it goes blue, changes direction. Watch your angles, You're running out of cover. Oh, I got hit by the thing. That's fine. Take some damage here. It's going to take us into phase three, I guess we'll call it. Now you can see we've got these blue things all around the edge. They will also uh, do damage to you and drain your shield, so we need to be careful of those on the next round. And it's also going to change direction three times this time. Here. We go this way. Now I'm going to go down on purpose on this last round just to show you guys something. In case it does take you down, there is a cool cheeky thing we can do if you if you are doing this on your own. So if I just decide I'm going to stand still. And, you know, I take some damage, I don't come do some damage to me. Man, I want you to do some damage to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> the time where I want to, do, want to take some damage, I'm going to do it. Right, so basically what I'm going to say is if you take, if you take damage, revive damage. after it goes down, and you still, as you see here, have enough time to take it down. So, don't worry too much if you do happen to go down, it's not going to be an issue. With that done, we just need to extract. The Jackal is done, and if you want to farm this for Rhino, you can get the full Rhino set. If you're just doing this for the mission, that's all good. You can't build Rhino anyway until you've unlocked more of the solar system, but I hope that helps you guys out. should make Jackal nice and easy, and I'll see you guys again soon.